Hi everyone, this is going to be a demonstration on Clairaut's theorem. Clairaut's theorem states that f is so-called continuously differentiable in two times, then um, following it's true if, if you first differentiate with respect to x and then differentiate with respect to y, the value there is the same as the first differentiate with respect to y and then differentiate with respect to x. So the analytic part, analytic proof of this one is a straightforward, but uh, its geometric uh, meaning is kind of quite subtle and is very difficult to see why these two quantities are exactly the same. So here's a demonstration. This is a graph. I chose this uh, quadric surface, so it involves this xy term. So that's going to be some part that survives as we differentiate x and differentiate y. So these are the two terms. Uh, other terms, as we differentiate x, y, or y, x, however you do it, they will all disappear, and uh, you're just left with this one. And this quadratic uh, example really demonstrates this effect of this one really well. So that's why I chose that, um, this example. So here's a quadratic surface. And what is shown here is the blue one is supposed to be the section along the x-axis. So um, this is showing the xz curve, and this red one here is yz curve. x is fixed and y and z is changing, and this is x, the y is fixed and x is changing. So this says negative 3, that's the partial derivative at that point with respect to x. So this the slope of this one here is supposed to be negative 0.3. Slope along this red curve is supposed to be the other one, is a 0.33. Okay, so this one will change, but this one will be fixed up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one a little bit, and what it does is that we move this point along, for example, this red curve, which is direction of y direction. Then you can see there is this 0.33, negative 0.33 slope along this blue line, but if you look at this point and move along this y position, then slope there it says negative 0.52. The difference, how much it changed, is this one, is negative 0.1866. Now if you look at the other direction, there if you look at this red curve and there's a slope, the 0.33, if you move that point along the blue curve and keep focusing on looking at this red curve right there, and think about the slope of this tangent line there along this red curve at that point, is 0.1466. So how much did it change? Over what I did is I moved this point horizontally um, one unit and to the other direction horizontally the one unit. So if you divide by that increment, you get um, and the stick differences and you get the average rate of change of this partial x and partial y. As you can see, those differences shown here is exactly the same. So how much it changed along that direction, how much it changed along that direction, happened to be exactly the same. But what we are supposed to see here is not exactly the same, but it's kind of approximately the same. That's So if these two points here and there are closer to this starting point there, it's even closer to that. But because we chose this quadratic surfaces, this turns out to be exactly equal. And to demonstrate this uh, rate of change of the slope, and this does the job, so that's why I chose it. So here it is, and it is, it's, uh, it's a quite challenge to geometrically understand why the rate of change of this slope at, uh, of this red curve along this blue line and then slope of this blue curve along the red line, the, the how they change is exactly the same. We'll see the proof sooner or later.